Christchurch Primary School in Clapham, South London. Well, let's pretend it relates to John Bailey's working with Year table, Five teacher okay. Paul Moses. Just make sure our pens are down on the table. Thank you. Six times six. Thirty-six. Seven Paul's a former six. film editor and musician, Eight times six. and came to teaching late. Eight, nine times but it's here he's found his vocation. For our mental maths, could we have everybody's attention? The vision is the inverse of multiple. His class has a very wide ability there. range, including Just, uh, one table of children who require a great deal of support. Out of interest, Mahalia, what's the inverse of addition? Not sure? What do you think, Nikisha? What's the inverse of adding? We've just said multiplying is the inverse of dividing. So what's the inverse of adding? Taking away, thank you. Paul's problem is to differentiate Excellent. his teaching. Jessica, can you give me both division facts for this one? Remember, we begin with the top number. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. Thank you. 18 divided by 6 is 3, and the other one would be? 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Excellent, thank you. Andy, what about this one? What do you learn from looking at that tape? Well, w one of the things I kept thinking was if I, if I already understood it, what would keep me interested? And I'm aware that there's two very, very able mathematicians in the class, and I keep thinking, well, why are they still focused? Because there was nothing I was doing that would challenge them in any way. What about ooh, this one? It makes me keep, keep thinking where, where, where to most accurately pitch a lesson. It's like what will suit the most, most often. There's always going to be someone who it doesn't suit. This line here is very important, because we can work out what the triangle is by looking at the answer. The class is learning to solve a puzzle using shapes as numbers, and Paul spends most of his time at the table of children who need more attention. How are we going to work it out? Four of them make 12. So what is one of them going to be? What do you think? Can you use your four times table to help you? Four times what makes 12? Four times 14 is 12. Let's try our four times table. What's one for? One times four. Right, what's two times four? What's three times four? 12. So what's four times four? So that's too much, isn't it? So four of what? Four of what made 12? Four times what made 12? 19. Shall we start again? Funnily enough, this four times three crops up again and again in this lesson with Abigail here. And even though she knows four times three is 12, it became a big problem to actually apply that in any kind of way. What would this be if they were worth three? So, are they worth three? You think they're worth three now? You just told me they weren't a second ago. I worry that I don't bring the right skills to the table to really get to the nitty-gritty of what gets them going. Sometimes I find it frustrated that I don't. Um, and today was as good as an example as any when I found I was repeating the same thing four or five times and still not getting what I wanted back. At one end, there's you putting in 15, 20 minutes of teacher talk mm -hmm. and you in, um, making sure that each child has contributed, but with a kind of slight worry at the back of your mind that, that there, are, there are some children who, who, who may not be engaged with the exercise mm -hmm. as a whole. Um, there's another imaginary you 
who walks into the room and says, uh, there are two multiplication facts and two division facts for every number on the board there, and you've got five minutes working mm. in pairs to find out what they are. Let him get on with it. Yeah. Let him get on with it. Mm. And, then you're, and then you're around the tables, and you can either get over to your um, uh, high achieving group um, and ask them, you know, say, by your reckoning, there's 17 numbers you can make just using six and five. Mm. Would they like to get on with that? Mm. And you could get over to Mahalia and be talking about inverses. And that teacher, that version of you, would have put in about 1 20th of the talk that this one did. But when you hear about that teacher, what do you think about him? It would make my life easier. But it, it, it does kind of... It does run against the grain. I don't, I don't sort of do copious amounts of teacher instruction because, um, you know, I, I think I have to. It's just because I think there's a hole that I need to go up and fill, you know, and, and I'm kind of backtracking, making, as you say, making sure everybody got it, rather than taking a chance that some didn't. In the long form, please. It's the same in literacy. Can you take a sheet what we're going to do now is we're just very quickly going to remind ourselves how we put together a piece of writing to persuade someone, although not everyone would agree, I would like to argue that, and then of course you'd say apartheid was an unfair system of government. What would be a good opener? I think you find more time by using more student inquiry. One of the things you want time for is you're gifted and talented, mm -hmm. um, but you also want some time um, for that back table. That's definitely right, yeah. Makisha, nice handwriting mm -hmm. as well. Could Even with the aid of up. teaching assistant Kim Harper, Please. Paul still wants to make sure that every child understands the lesson. Right, well, how far you got, Abigail? Now, let's look at the board, what we said in the discussion. Look at the board. We went over to that now, table and um, I suddenly found myself back in the, knee, back in the, the land of special needs. Mm. And it's got a different rhythm, hasn't mm. it? Yes, very much so, yeah. It's quieter. Go on, then. The further reason is... ..that black people had a small bus and that white people had a big bus and the white people had more transport. OK, well, they didn't have more transport. It's just that the transport they had was only for them, wasn't it? Go on, you tell me, what are, what are some of the skills that might be involved over at that table? You need to be more aware of the kind of emotional impact of making a choice, making a decision. It can be quite a dangerous thing, and I'm not sure if I want to, because if I get it wrong, everyone's going to laugh. And it needs a lot of support. So can we write that as a sentence? A further reason is that black people had to... Say it, please. And, of course, if you've just given what you thought was sufficient support, you're kind of like, well, why can't you do it? Come on, I've given you everything you need. What more do you want? So, yes, I take your, your point. There's a definite different pace. Yeah, for lots of work in the mainstream classroom, um, working with children who are slow learners is, is a question of rhythm and patience. When we sit down at that table, we suddenly be we have to become a, a, a different person, mm. don't we? Mm. Great, and I like the way you're writing in the past tense as well. I was thinking about Kim this morning. She's got that, hasn't she? She's, she's, she's even moving quite slowly, mm. and she's listening to them, and, and if I'm a child working with her, um, yeah, I know I've got time to find a solution. See, this it? was one of my original points, that I'm sort of so busy thinking of something else, where I'm going to go next. I will start off with that and then go, oh, oh look, there's the answer, now see you, bye, yeah. I'm gone. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I don't, I don't want to do, but I find myself doing, and it, it frustrates me that I can't leave well alone. Oh Ten more minutes. You see, I, th I think there's, there's lots of tricks um, that, you, that we can learn about supporting those mm. children, that you and I can understand um, right away. Mm. We could give them some group work to do so they can work at their own speed and we can give them um, a bit more in the way of structure. So I saw they had writing frames there. Yeah. Excellent. Um, I came across one school where the teacher would, would tape record introductions to lessons 
and stick them on the tape recorder and say to a few days yeah, ago. And say to a group of kids, you might want to listen to I the instructions again. They might want to do it themselves as a way to yeah. to overcome this barrier between I can say it but I can't write it down. If you could rewind it and play it back again and again. Yes. Yes. So there's, I guess there are things like that that I haven't tried that I yes. would like to try if I had the opportunity. And you can, yeah, or cutting out some key words about apartheid and then arranging them yeah. into a story. Yeah. If it leads to me at least feeling I've got the time to generate better and more effective strategies of dealing with that group, then I'll, I'll feel happier yeah. anyway. Three days on, and John's back to see Paul again. He's going to cut down his teaching from the front, allowing him more time to work with the groups that need it. Seven divided by seven is one. Can anybody give me the two division facts that go with this one, please? Antoine. 14 divided by 2 is 7, and 14 divided by 7 is 2. 63 divided by 9 equals 7, and 63 divided by 7 equals 9. 42 divided by 7 equals 6 and 42 divided by 6 equals 7. OK, excellent. Solving the four puzzles on your own, off you go. What I'd like you to do is, first of all, I'd like you to put 16 here on this one here. I'd like you to put 20 there, 19 there. OK, that's all I'm going to give you. Now, who can show me? Who can show me which one we can work out the quickest in this puzzle? Nikisha. The, 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 the triangle. Now, what is the triangle? How do you know it's four? If you divide, if you, if you divide 16 by four, you're Brilliant. She did it straight away. Is there another way? I was going to say you can multiply four fours by 16. Fantastic. The two different inverses to solve the problem. Well done, you two. So we've now got to divide that number 12 between the two circles. So what are we going to do? We're going to halve it, quarter it. What are we going to do? Half it, good girl. Hang on a second. How did you work out the circles? What did you do, Nikisha? Because I did four and four is eight. eight, and then I cut it down eight to eight 20. Eight up to 20 is... And then I 12. It's 12, but there's two I of them. them. I them. Right. To six. Fantastic. Did you hear that? Yeah. Have you got a better way of doing it? Now, Paul's got time to work with the other tables. Right. Does anybody need a hand? No, no. found that out yet. I think this one is tougher. So try guessing what they are. I think That's how it works. Sometimes you just have to guess and then see if it works. Well, were you happy with that lesson? Uh, yes, I was pleased by the way um, the introduction was a lot shorter and I managed to get onto the group that I wanted to get onto a lot more quickly. And um, I think it probably would have been like that anyway because it was the second time they'd seen the activity, so they were likely to le need less instruction. But I consciously t uh, made it as quick as I could, so I could move on. How hard or easy is it to relax into working with that group at that table over there? It takes a conscious effort, because as we've said, they, t they speak a different language and there's a different kind of atmosphere over there. They need a lot more support, uh, not just educationally, but emotionally as well. And they need to be encouraged to feel that they're in an ethos where they can make mistakes and a lot of them are very reluctant to make mistakes and they'd rather not have a go, you know. So a lot of scaffolding, a lot of support and a lot of encouragement. Mm -hmm.